Hey everyone, so this is Alana from Shipper HQ, and I'm here to show you how simple it is to add store pickup to your checkout options in minutes using Shipper HQ. So this is a quick and easy way to offer local store pickup if you're struggling right now to find a quick way to make buy online, pick up in store easier for your local customers and available immediately. The example that we're going to show is set up on the Shopify platform, although the outcome will be similar if you are using BigCommerce, WooCommerce, or Magento store. Uh, it's all going to work the same. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Shopify app store and we're going to go ahead and install Shipper HQ. Shipper HQ comes with a 30 day free trial. And again, that's regardless of the platform that you're on. And once we install that, we're going to see that in the app here in our Shopify store. And during that installation process, you're going to get pushed from Shopify over into the Shipper HQ dashboard so that you can set up the account that you have here and the first thing that it's going to ask you to do is to set up the shipping origin so a shipping origin is any location that you are shipping products out of and i know that we are talking about in-store pickup here right now but regardless we'll still need to set a shipping origin because chances are if you offer in-store pickup you're probably also offering some delivery options but either way it's a requirement in shipper hq so here we've added an austin texas warehouse and we've just added the address here and then went ahead and saved that and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the advanced features section and we're going to find in-store pickup feature and go ahead and enable that so once that is flipped on, you'll see a pickup locations um, show up in the left hand navigation here. And we're going to navigate over here. And we're going to add our first pickup location. So for the purposes of this demo, we're going to just assume that we have a single pickup location and we're going to go ahead and add that here. And we're going to name it our Lamar shop. And the checkout description is the only way that the user will be able to see in Shopify and BigCommerce where they're picking this up for. So we're going to go ahead and put our address in here, just at least so that they're familiar with what shop they're supposed to be picking this up at. OK, so we're going to go ahead and set that. And then we're going to go ahead and add an address for our Lamar Street shop. And we're going to go ahead and save that. Um, and then we're going to go over here to our carriers and we're going to add a carrier and in Shipper HQ, any carrier that does not getting live rates from a service such as UPS or FedEx is going to be considered a custom carrier. So in this case, we're going to create a custom carrier for store pickup and you'll see the in-store pickup option in here already. We're going to select that and we're going to give it a name. Okay, and again, this will be the name that the customer sees in the checkout, although you can change that later. So we're going to go ahead and add our or configure our settings. Our looks like our carrier was added successfully to the carriers in Shipper HQ. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and adjust any settings that we may have. So here we've got our carrier title, which is going to show up in our checkout. We're going to call that local pickup. Um, <clears throat> actually, let's call this, we're going to do a free local pickup. So we're just going to call it free local. And then our shipping method name, we can call that store pickup. And we're going to go ahead and set a flat rate here um, for the purposes of this demo. We're not going to charge anything for the people to do an in-store pickup. So if we leave this at zero, it's going to register as free. Uh, but you are able to enter a flat rate pickup cost if there is some cost associated there. Um, and again, if we go down here to the in-store pickup section, we can add our pickup location, which is the Lamar shop that we had added earlier. And we can add a distance that this will be available. So for our purposes of this demo, we're going to go ahead and say 20 mile radius. And we can also choose to show this pickup location regardless of what destination our customer is from, or we can leave it to set to show at a distance radius of whatever we set here. And here we have it at 20 miles. So we're going to go ahead and um, save that. We've got no other restrictions, nothing else to apply. So we're going to save that. 
And if you look over here, as soon as that is saved, we're going to go ahead and enable it. And as soon as it's enabled, because Shipper HQ is already installed in our Shopify store, as soon as we enable this, it will become available at the checkout to our customers. So let's head over to our store, add something to our cart, and let's see if we can get that pickup location to show up. Okay, so let's check out here. And we've added an address that is also within the 20 mile radius of our pickup location. And here you'll see free local store pickup, 3301 Lamar shop, and the free shipping has of course not been added into the total, but if you had added a price here, that would also be added into the total. So there you go. I think it took like five minutes to go ahead and set that up and you can start offering pickup locations at any time. So thanks for writing along for the demo. And if you have any questions about this or anything else that Shipper HQ can do, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at ShipperHQ.com with any questions that you have. We're really happy to help you get started and here to answer any questions that you have. All right, thanks.